while the Galaxy S8 is a blazing fast smartphone, but then over a few months, unmonitored usage and app downloads can wear down even the best of smartphones. Performance goes down and then there are plenty of reasons for it. But I'm not going to get into them right now. Instead, I'll tell you 10 ways you can speed up the Samsung Galaxy S8. The first one is changing your performance mode. The Galaxy S8 ships with its default set to optimized use. It means that your processor is working at an optimized level and not in its superpower mode. So you just need to change it to game mode, which scales up performance of the processor, but it also eats up a bit extra of your battery. And I'm guessing that's all right because um, you still get that performance boost and it's anyway got a fast charger. So you can always plug in your uh, charger and then quickly charge it up, even if it is using up that extra battery. The second tip is lowering the resolution of your screen. Higher the resolution, the more taxing it is for your processor to fill more detail onto your screen. Go into settings, display and then screen resolution. And now you can just drag the slider down to FHD plus if it was on WQHD plus and if it was already on FHD plus then drag it down to HD plus and you'll still save more battery than previously. The third tip is to uninstall unnecessary apps. Now I know this one is a given, but I'm surprised by how many people don't do this at all. Go into your application manager and select uh, the apps that you feel you don't need or you just don't use anymore. The app manager will have the complete list in front of you, so you'll keep remembering the ones that you don't use at all. Now in the, uh, in the, in the native uh, app in uninstaller that you have, you have to uninstall each and every app um, you know, one by one. So, you know, let's say one was Airbnb and the other is Appy Geek. You know, I have to do it one by one. Instead, a faster process would be to go ahead and install something called as the Easy Uninstaller. Uh, what it does is it lists all the apps down and you can multi-select the apps that you don't want. So, for example, I don't want the game after Pulse. Uh, I don't want Appy Geek and I don't want Airbnb. So I check those three and I just tap uninstall and it's going to do it one after the other in succession. The fourth one is to clear the cache frequently. Now I know what you might be thinking. Cache is pretty much what you need to speed up your smartphone in the first place. Well, actually that is true, but it's not exactly the same. The cache memory in our smartphone also stores information that helps load content on your smartphone faster. For example, if I open my Instagram or my Flipboard or my Facebook app, you'd see that the content is already loaded and there is no image loading. So you can see that images are preloaded. Where do you think all of these information or these images are stored? They're all into your cache memory at the moment, but it stays there forever right and all these pictures they've been cached and you know it's not going to make your phone browsing faster it's just going to make your app faster and having said that you do need to clear your cache because it does bulk up it becomes corrupted and can run into unexpected issues and this can cause your phone to act up so go into settings go into device maintenance and click on optimize now or basically fix now uh, where you you know yeah and then when i click that it's it basically removes um, a lot of memory that was being eaten up by um, you know these apps and then next you should go into storage that was memory that was you know basically your RAM and this is storage this is where your cache is being residing when you say fix now it actually frees up the storage space and you can see that 2.6 GB of cache memory um, you know was removed so clear it every you know once a month um, and you definitely see your performance of the smartphone be a little better once you do it the next one and a little lesser known is, is to activate the download booster. Now, did you know that you could actually use your Wi-Fi internet speed and your telecom data speed together simultaneously to increase your downloading speed? Just go into settings, connections, go into uh, more connection settings that will be all the way at the bottom and then hit download booster. Okay. And just a disclaimer. We all know that telecom data is like gold and no one likes to spend it. So just be wary and use it only when absolutely necessary while downloading something that's that's big in size and you want it downloaded really quick. Now, the next one is to remove widgets. Now, while this should really not be the case, considering how powerful the S8 is, but if your phone is absolutely sluggish, then you must remove these widgets. They are loaded every time you open your home screen or you unlock your phone and depending on the type of the widget, they might be quite resource intensive too as they keep fetching data. 
for example, um, I have this to doist app. It's a task list app that I have on my home screen as a widget. It keeps fetching data and it keeps syncing to the cloud server by to doist. It's also synced, um, you know, with the app, of course, but also, you know, I have the desktop app for this for this particular application. So, you know, this is a background process and it takes some processor and RAM as well. Just get rid of these because, you know, quite honestly, you'll realize you don't even use them as often. Yeah, but if you definitely need a widget to be there, then let it be. The next few tips is going to require you to enable developer options. So don't worry, it is 100% safe and it's pretty simple. So head over to settings, go into about phone and then software info and then tap on build number seven times and then just go back into settings and you'd see right at the bottom developer settings. Now the next tip is to limit your background processes. Your phone is always doing stuff in the background and when these processes pile up, they can really slow down your device. The good thing is you can limit them to keep performance at maximum. So go to developer options and then go all the way down to limit background processes. And then from here you can pretty much you know, select and limit processes as much as you feel comfortable. You can restart the device and you can start enjoying uh, improved speeds. But be aware that setting this too low may prevent some of your most commonly used apps from grabbing updates in the background, which is sort of important, uh, you know, to run in the background sometimes so that you can get the latest apps and their updates. Next is to reduce animation scales. And this one is one of those that will instantly show you the difference. Animations can be made faster and that gives you the feeling that it's your phone that has in fact become faster. Um, and all you have to do is go into settings, go into developer options and then scroll all the way down to changing animation settings. Um, there you go, the three types, window, transition and animator duration. Set all of these, um, they're currently at 1x. So open it up and change it to 0.5x. You will see a significant bump in the speeds with which your apps open and close. The phone dialer, for example, is going to come up faster. Your Instagram app opens up faster. You know, switching between apps is going to be faster. Basically, you really reduce the animation time. The second last one is to go into and enable don't keep activities. Yeah, it, it's a setting actually, and it's a big one. Android's multitasking prowess is impressive, but it is also one of the reasons why they slow down over a period of time. Enabling this setting is going to stop apps from running in the background when closed or switched and that keeps your RAM memory free to use elsewhere. Not that the Galaxy S8 is short of RAM, but this will mean that your apps would restart when you switch between them. So if you do a lot of switching, then I suggest you don't enable this setting. And the last one is to wipe the phone if absolutely nothing works, you know, from amongst the list that I've told you. That's the last, so formatting it or, you know, doing a factory data reset. So thank you for watching guys. These were the 10 tips to speed up your Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, let me know if you know of some in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. Thank you guys.